Hi, if you need some custom PCBs manufactured like this one here, you maybe will go to some well-known vendors such as JLC PCB for example. JLC PCB is based in China, they are offering very affordable PCBs and they also have an assembly service, so you can get an assembled PCB already, which is really nice. But if you are living in Europe, JLC PCB has one big downside, and this is the fact that the PCB must travel around the half of the world in order to get to you. And if you don't want to spend too much money for shipping, you will have to wait for quite a long time. But I had the case that I will need PCBs quite briefly, so I had to search for an alternative which is also affordable. And I found Eisler.net. And today I want to tell you the story how Eisler.net saved my Linux driver workshop. So. This weekend I will give a Linux driver workshop at a Linux event in Chemnitz, one of the biggest Linux events in Germany. In this workshop I will introduce my audience into how to write drivers for Linux. And I always think it's more nicer if you actually have some hardware to tinker around with. So I made a small PCB. We have a connector here to plug it on our Raspberry Pi. I'm still using the old Raspberry Pi 1 because they are quite cheap to get nowadays. And I can put it in here like this. Then I have a IC which will translate 4i opens to um, yeah, the controlling pins of a 7 segment display. And I also have a button on hand here. So this is a quite nice PCB and we will write a driver for it. So this PCB I made with JLC PCB and I also let JLC PCB assemble the boards for me. This is why I use such small 0402 resistors here. And it was really quite convenient. Unfortunately, when registering for the workshop, I forgot to set a maximum amount of participants. And then the yeah, day came for people to sign up. And I found out, oh, up to 30 people can register to my workshop. But I only have 13 of these PCBs available, so I can't... Um, so I don't have enough hardware. So I wrote to the organizer and limited the amount of um, the audience to or participants to 15. But I still need some more PCBs and I only have a few weeks left until the event. So I thought maybe ordering a JLC PCB is a little bit too risky because shipping can take longer and this is a little bit uncertain. So I need a European manufacturer. So I went out and searched for it and I found ISO.net, which you can see here. So there are a lot of PCB manufacturers, also in Europe or Germany, but they are more expensive and they are more um, yeah, targeted for enterprises, companies or universities to order PCBs. And therefore the PCBs are more expensive than here. But ISO.net um, focuses more on makers and yeah, people like me who need cheap PCBs and here you will get free PCBs for starting from 1016 which is a quite good price. So maybe let's calculate the PCB with this side. So I've already uploaded my board file. You see I've changed a little bit. So because now I have to solder it by hand because I don't want to use an assembly service. This is why I have a bigger 7 segment display here with THT um, parts and I've also used I'm also using 0805 resistor sizes because they're easier for me to hand solder. But this comes with a downside. So here you can see I have for every LED of the seven segment display I have a resistor before, but as I'm lazy and I want to solder as few as possible, here I all, all only have one resistor. So this will lead to when I'm displaying an 8, it will be less bright than if I would just display an 1, for example, on the segment display. But this is all right for this workshop here. Okay, so now let's calculate the price for these boards. So I want to have beautiful boards. Um, they, they will be 1.6 millimeters thick, which is standard, which is okay. And I need six pieces in case some are defect or I made soldering mistakes. And here you can see I will get them for 
40 euros, which is a very nice price. If you break it down to one PCB, that, that's less than three euros for, for per PCB, which is really cool. And if I would be really in a hurry, I could even use or I could even reduce the manufacturing time and this will only cost me additional four euros, which is really cool. And if I would have an oven for baking the PCB, I could even order a stellar stances for about five euros more or six euros more, which is also not too much, especially considering this is placed in Germany. And another very cool thing about ISO.net is, so here you can see my billing or part of my bill. Um, you can select that you want to support your the um, yeah PCB designing tool you've used because when you're uploading the file, it recognizes okay this was made with KiCad and if you want to you can yeah you can sponsor KiCad with 10% of your purchase, which is a really nice option which I took. So in total, I paid about 16 euros for six PCBs, which is really a good price and they were delivered very fast so i think eight days were the manufacturing time and i had them after nine or ten days which is really cool okay so maybe now last thing you want to see my new pcbs so give me a second that's how they're looking like so you can see the segment display is bigger and it's using tht um power a tht part we have fewer resistors and I had to hand solder it, but overall I was quite happy to have ISO.NET delivering me such cheap and affordable PCBs as such so fast. So now I'm really ready for my workshop and I'm really looking forward to it. I will update you about how it um, went and maybe I will even put a video about the workshop on YouTube someday. Okay, so I guess that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video and learned something. In case you want to support my work, you can buy me a coffee and buy me a coffee.com slash for Linux. So thanks for watching and goodbye.